how much does your emotions play into what you're eating when you're healing? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, what role do emotions have? And um, let me give you their tremend- a tremendous effect um, on on things. And um, if I can give you an example. Um, okay, if we think of the two systems in our bodies that regulate the way the body functions, it's the nervous system, which is the brain and all the peripheral nervous uh, nerves, and the endocrine system, which is the hormone system. So these are the two main control mechanisms of the body. They control and, and sort of coordinate a lot of you know organ and cellular functioning. Well, they connect at a place in the brain called the hypothalamus. And the hypothalamus releases chemicals that stimulate the pituitary gland, which you've all heard of as the master gland of the body. And it tells the ovaries what to do, the testes what to do, the thyroid what to do, the adrenal glands what to do, and all that sort of thing. So imagine this. Two 30-year-old women become roommates. They answered an ad, one answered an ad, and became a roommate. And they really like each other. They get along really good. And within one or two months, they find out that they're menstruating at the same time. They didn't plan it. Okay. They didn't think about it, talk about it. It just happened. That's the power of the what's called the neuroendocrine axis. Okay, so there, now that's a very subtle and not, you know subtle thing. But just to let you know that it's, we're talking about real things. Now, what we do know is this: is that positive emotions stimulate our natural killer cells, and natural killer cells are lymphocytes, which are a certain type of white blood cell that kill cancer kill virally infected cells and fung- fungally infected cells or, or, and cells that have uh, intracellular parasites and stuff like that. So uh, very, very important. And we know that laughter increases them, increases the, the number of them and also their, their ability to do what they need to do. Uh, we know that fear, uh, doubt, pain, all those things diminish it. And this is all measurable. So, I mean, that's... You know, right there, that should be enough for us to realize it. And I was thinking of a um, an experiment I had read about when I was uh, in in graduate school, um, where they had had they had uh, showed a group of people these um, uh, red hot a long iron pokers, I guess they used for fire, and they had them in the fire, and they were they were they're like red hot. They blindfolded them, had them put their hands out, and they put. And I, they told them they were going to touch it, and they put an ice cube on their hand. Their hands, the skin shriveled up as if it were burnt, and it was an ice cube because they were anticipating the heat. So it's powerful. So one of the things that we do is we tell people, um, uh, you know, la- you know, laugh, meditate. There's a lot of ways of working with it, which we'll go into. But just to let you know, it's extremely, extremely important.